Hello everybody, Mike, aka the Mashco 13, here with Kerbal Space Program Out of This World series. Once again, another episode I don't actually know the number of until I do the editing for this. We are currently sending the moon mission modules to the moon in order to dock and then, you know, meet up with the other stuff so that we can continue doing science. Um, Ethan Kerman has been added to our list. I think I may have showed you him last time. He is going to be planning a very special mission to Lathe. Uh, the Kerbin scientists have decided that Lathe looks like it would be a suitable target for a base. So I've got a couple things I'm working on. This Lathe is very different from the Lathe in the stock game, if you haven't noticed. Also, apparently a lot of hurricanes. Uh, there's a lot more land. I know absolutely nothing about any of it, so we're probably going to have to send a probe here to Cathane Scan and Map to try to decide on a good base location, because we'd like to have some Cathane there. It's not an absolute necessity, but it'd be nice. And also having the extra science from the moon would definitely be handy. I'm just going to fast forward time, I think, until we get to the moon, which is now. So we are about to cross over, and we are actually still within normal comms range, which is cool. We have a direct path. Um, all right, what direction is this going? Also down, sweet. That is perfect. We need to intercept the moon explorer. We also need to get captured. So let's focus on the getting captured first, and then maybe on the intercept. Uh, this might take me a little while, so I might just do a little bit of skipping. Um, and I will see you all when I've got this somewhat. So that burn is going to be probably not too bad. I don't actually know. Um, I'm also not sure how well our communications are going to go. We are... Here we are. Let's switch back to us. We're currently in direct communication with Kerbin. All of our satellites are pointed at Kerbin. The other things are probably going to actually be doing the communication, and we will be using the short-range comms, talking to them while they talk there. Hopefully. Um, I may have to reorganize some things. I don't know how long of a burn this is going to be. It's 750 meters per second. We've got 2,000. That's a five-minute burn. This is probably a two-minute burn. Let's do a quick test. Um, that's not going to tell me anything. Two-and-a-half-minute burn. All right. For whatever reason, it is incapable of holding that. Oh, we must have switched. Uh, two and a half minute burn, 15 minutes. Um, so that would be one minute and 15 seconds extra. Let's set this for 14 minutes and tell it to burn 740.3 meters per second. Um, you can probably have to set this 13 minutes and 30 seconds. So... That should be when that gets to the 45, and then we burn. Set this back to zero, and let's hope I did that right. Let's actually set an alarm for the... Let's um, set this two minutes ahead of time. Quick save, just in case. Time warp up. Delete the alarm. And I hope I did this right. So we've got 
20 seconds until we start burning. Ooh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be kinda tight. If we mess this up too much, it's gonna be bad. Are we still... Yeah, we are still in contact. Somehow we are just barely in range of that. And we are now burning. Alright. Here's hoping I got that right. And we're also about to finish our burn. We've got five... Five meters per second left according to the maneuver node. Okay, that's not too bad. How messed up is our orbit though? Alright, I'm going to have to fix this a little bit. Alright, good. We're still in communication using Rescue Refueler 2, which I should rename to some sort of Mooner Comsat. Um, still have 1200 meters per second of Delta V. And these are nowhere near each other. 2.6, 1.8, all right. Point at the node, prepare to execute. Go. Okay, hopefully that will line up and we will get a good intercept. 15 kilometers. Not quite. Alright, we are coming up on our target now. I'm going to um, just let this point in the retrograde and then there it is. We are 44 kilometers away. Um, should be in the target retrograde. Ah. I need the relative retrograde. How close are we? We're still fairly close away. So I'm going to let this point and then speed up until we get to our closest encounter. And we are going very fast in comparison. Um, I actually want to point in the, oh, target relative normal, maybe? Oh, uh, we are flying by very quickly. Now remember, I can only use the flight computer for this. I cannot use the um, WASD keys. I may allow myself to use the um, RCS simply because it's going to be like impossible not to. Alright, let's point at the target prograde. Let's the target radial. Will that get me? No, that's the orbit radial. I want the target radial. This thing keeps flipping around and not taking me to any of the right places. Target normal. I need to get the, the yellow lined up with the uh, pink icons. And it's proving to be much worse than I thought. Fine. Relative retrograde. Hopefully the Moon Explorer is getting some electric charge. I had left it pretty much empty. Alright, we we're going very slow compared to the target. Let's point at the target, target prograde. and head straight for it. That's actually pointing the relative retrograde. Mm -hmm. 
Docking is going to be a bit of a nightmare. So this is going to be an adventure for sure. Alright, there is the Moon Explorer. And we have no connection. Why do we have no connection? Oh god. Okay. I'm going to quick save here. And I basically just have to wait until we have a connection again. Which is probably going to be when we come up over the moon. And in the meantime, I'm just going to keep drifting away. That's so frustrating. At the very least, I don't think I'm set up to crash into anything. Connection should be coming back very soon. Come on. Connection. We have connection. Alright. Let's point in the... Yeah, the relative retrograde is actually correct. Let's point at the target prograde. That's my target. Target prograde. So get pointed straight at it. Burn up. And then relative retrograde. Now, if, at least for the rest of this, we should have communication because we are close enough. Um, this is its going to be interesting. Trying to dock using just the flight computer. Alright, um, we are still getting closer, so I'm gonna just speed up some. I'm gonna kill off this velocity. Point straight at the target. Burn right at it again. And then just basically keep repeating this. And apparently losing my target vector, which is obviously what I want. This is like a nightmare. Trying to dock these two things without any actual Kerbal control. And we're apparently now on the dark side. However, it's the side that actually has communication. So, yeah, this is gonna set as target. Um, what, what is happening? Control from here. Target. Target prograde. Point at the docking port. This is the most precise docking you have ever seen in your entire life. Oh wait, that might be it. Probably going to burn through all of my mono propellant. Oh my god, we've actually managed to get them docked. That is amazing. Okay, so... Let's turn the flight computer off. Just turn SAS on. Sweet. Okay. So, all of the extra fuel in here is going to get deposited into these tanks, which I somehow need to balance. Um, but, I don't know. Put all of it in here. I will figure out a way of balancing these, and then I will be back. Can't believe that actually docked. We need to get Cathane before we can do anything else. 
Um, we need to do that on... Wow. Okay, so this is going to be frustrating. We need to do it when we have a connection, but it's going to also probably be on the... We need it to be on the day side, and it's probably going to end up being on the night side to have a connection, or the day side is what we need to be able to actually mine and convert. I'm wondering if it's not worth it just to do the switch to an equatorial plane. So how many parts are we at right now? 228. So that would explain why my frame rate's not the greatest right now. I'm going to point this in the normal direction. Well, it's still maneuverable, so that's good. We should have two people in here, Dunzer and Hadnard. Okay. Oof. That shakes around a lot. I should come out here and um, maybe strut this. Let's turn the flight computer off and just turn SAS on, and that should level out these issues. Um, I might actually come out here and strut this, and then we can think about what we're going to do. That might end up being the end of the episode. Um, so sorry that this wasn't the most exciting. But hey, we got docked, and you know what? That's all I really care about right now. Uh, question. If I'm going to strut this, do I have struts? Because these aren't the Kerbal EVA ones. And I don't think I actually brought any struts. Hmm. That might have been a silly thing to do. I don't think I did, did I? Darn. Alright, that's not the light key. It's L. And I don't think I've got any extras down here. Hmm. Okay, well, looks like we're not actually going to be strutting that. Uh, we'll have to add that to the list of things to send in the next care package, I guess. Uh, we can force close this. We don't need that open. It's just going to be draining power, and heaven knows we don't have enough power in here, actually, uh, to keep everything running, at least. Um... So I'm going to think about what I want to do, and then next time I think we're going to plan on bringing that ship down. Also, how much time do we have? We've got 19 hours until the zoology module is complete. At that point, um, I'm going to be sending that up to the station, and that will actually get us some more science. Uh, is there anything else we can do in this window? I mean, we've still got communications now. We should have... What? I don't think these actually end where they're supposed to. Because I want to say that Kerbin orbits... Yeah, 63 megameters. This moon orbits at 37. These are only separated by, like, 20 and those dishes can go 90. So yeah, I don't think the dishes are actually displaying properly, but that's fine. I don't need them to. I think it's just for the angle. Um, so yeah, I have to figure out where to land. Ooh. This might be a good idea, landing up here, because we will be in communication and it's on the Terminator. Alright, I think I'm going to land here next time. I will save that for next episode. Until then, I'm Mike, aka TheMagico13. Thank you all for watching.